All right, in this tutorial, we're gonna solve word problems that involve negative and positive values. So let's go ahead and get started. This first problem reads that the elevation at sea level is zero meters. The elevation of Lake Enriquillo, Dominican Republic, is about 45 meters below sea level. The elevation of Death Valley, California, is two times that of Lake Enriquillo. What is the elevation of Death Valley, California? Express your answer as an integer in reference to elevation. All right, so it is given that this lake in the Dominican Republic is 45 meters below sea level, or it says about, but we're just gonna write that as an integer, negative 45 feet below sea level. And it says that the elevation at Death Valley is two times that of this lake. So what we're gonna do is just double this elevation. So that just means that Death Valley is about twice the distance below sea level that this lake is. So negative 45 times two is equal to negative 90. All right, let's go ahead and solve the next problem. All right, this problem reads that a scuba diver is swimming 12 feet below the water surface. So let's start by writing negative 12 because the word below indicates a position and that would be a negative position relative to the water surface. Next it says, the diver swims up slowly at 0.5 feet per second for three seconds. So moving up would be a positive change of direction and the rate of change is 0.5 per second for three seconds. So we have to take this half of a foot and multiply that by three. So this initial position 12 feet below the water surface is gonna increase by this amount. And then it says that the diver swims up for three more seconds at 0.4 feet per second. So what we have to do now is take 0.4 and multiply that by three. All right, so what we're gonna do now is rewrite this as negative 12 plus the product of these two numbers, which is positive 1.5, plus the product of these numbers, which is 1.2. All right, what I'm gonna do first is combine positive one and a half and positive one and two tenths because we can add values that have the same sign. So I am gonna simplify this expression to be negative 12 plus 2.7. Now we should note that we have a negative value and a positive value. And when that is true, you have to subtract the absolute values of those numbers. So what I'm gonna do is go to the side and take 12 and write that as 12.0 and I'm going to subtract that with 2.7, and we drop our decimal straight down, and we're gonna turn the zero into a 10 and borrow one hole from this 12 and turn it into 11. 10 take away seven is three, and 11 take away two is nine. Now, notice that this expression right here has more of a negative value than a positive value, which means the negative value wins out. In other words, if this diver were 12 feet below sea level, and then they swam upwards 2.7 feet, they would still be below the surface of the water. Therefore, our answer has to be a negative one. And in this case, it is negative nine and three tenths. All right, let's go ahead and solve the next problem. All right, this problem reads that the temperature at 8 p.m. was 45 degrees. From 8 p.m. to 12 a.m., the temperature decreased by three degrees Fahrenheit each hour. What was the temperature at 12 a.m.? Okay, I'm gonna provide two different strategies for solving this problem. The first strategy is to note that it says that the temperature is decreasing by three degrees each hour. So I'm gonna start by just writing that as an integer, negative three. Now, from 8 p.m. to 12 a.m., that is a span of four hours, which means we have to take this hourly change in temperature and multiply it by four. So what we would say is in that four hour time span, the temperature decreased 12 degrees. Now, the temperature started at 45 degrees. So all we have to do is subtract 12 from that. And where we end up at is 33 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, another way that may work for some students is you can make a table like this. And on one side, you can put the time. And on the other side, you can put the temperature. So we know right at eight o'clock that the temperature was 45 degrees. And it says that the temperature decreases three degrees each hour. 
So from eight to nine, the temperature would go down to 42 degrees because the temperature is dropping three degrees. So at 10 o'clock, the temperature would be 39 degrees. And at 11 o'clock, the temperature would be 36 degrees. And lastly, at 12 o'clock midnight, the temperature would be 33 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, let's go ahead and do one more problem. All right, this problem reads that the lowest temperature ever recorded in the city of Charlotte is negative five degrees Fahrenheit. The highest temperature ever recorded in Charlotte is 104 degrees Fahrenheit. And we have to determine what is the difference between the highest recorded temperature and the lowest recorded temperature in Charlotte. All right, now the word difference really just means difference. So the way that I would think about this problem is distance on a number line. So let's just say that right here we have zero and right here we have negative five. Starting at negative five to get just to zero, we would have to go up five units. And to get from zero all the way to 104, from zero we would have to go 104 more units. So altogether, we would have to travel a distance of 109 degrees. Now remember, when we see the word difference, that indicates subtraction. So another way we could have done this problem is by writing 104 minus negative five. Now remember, when you are subtracting a negative, you have to turn those signs positive. So really we have 104 plus five, which is 109. So the difference between the highest and lowest temperatures is 109 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, whenever you have to find the distance between a negative value and a positive value, the shortcut is to simply take the absolute values of the numbers, and this is how we indicate absolute value. So we take the absolute value of negative five and the absolute value of 104, and we just add those absolute values together. So basically, we're turning both of the numbers positive and adding them together. So 100 nine degrees Fahrenheit is a difference between those two values.